Welcome back beer tubers. Today we're going to take a look at another Crooked Stave beer. This is going to be the, the first Crooked Stave beer that I've reviewed post JBF when I actually got out to visit the brewery out in Denver. And this is their St. Breda Summer Edition. So this is their 100% Britannomyces Wit Beer, or White Ale. And this one's brewed with citrus and fermented oak fooders. Uh, I can't remember the actual uh, orange they use on this one. Uh, it, oh, blood orange, sorry. So that's a seasonal. So they do uh, a, a seasonal release. Uh, summer reviewing here. Fall is out. I don't know if they had it in bottles while I was there, but I got to try it. And they do spring and winters. It's a different citrus, type of citrus every, every time. So this is the blood orange edition from summer. Uh, pours out nice, hazy, golden color, what you expect from whipped beer. Nice carbonation, bright white head. The ABV on this one's 5.5%. Let's get the aroma. Oh yeah, you're getting a combination of that funky Brett character and the blood orange. Uh, some spiciness in there, uh, you know, big citrus notes. It's got a, a light uh, tartness in the nose, uh, funkiness, more uh, wet hay kind of funk. A little bit of that medicinal funk character in there as well, so uh, let's dig in. Cheers. Ah, that's nice. It's light, refreshing type of beer. Um, I, I can tell the uh, citrus fading a little bit <clears throat> compared to what I had on draft. But it, it's definitely there. As far as whip beers goes, more citrus forward. Um, getting a little bit of like a coriander spiciness in there, but not too much. So up front, you get a big uh, blood orange character. A uh, big sweetness from the orange and a nice like tartness from the orange. So it's a combination of that up front. Uh, midway through, you get like a little bit of a lemony tartness. Uh, there's there's a little bit of like a, a sweet pear, apricot note. Some of those stone fruits come into play midway through. Finish is very dry. You get a little bit of oak tannin, but not too much. Uh, the brett really comes through in the finish. Big funk. Follows the nose pretty well. Slight medicinal funk character. Mostly uh, that earthy hay component. Not quite barnyard, but uh, approaching barnyard. Um, and there's like a touch of a, you know, a little bit of like a tropical-ish kind of pineapple note in there as well. The more I drink it, they pick up a little bit more spiciness and a little bit of like a white wine character, that, that sort of white grape note. And uh, yeah, this is a nice beer. I don't know if it's just, they say 100% Brett, but I don't know if there's some other bugs in the barrel because it's got a little bit of like a, a lactobacillus type of lemony tartness to it as well. It makes it just really refreshing to drink. Great for a summer day. Uh, great for you know any warm day, which is actually still warm here in San Diego. So this one's kind of tough to grade because it's not a traditional wit beer, but I love the, the take on it being 100% Brett beer, which is what they do at Cricket State. Um, you know, it adds that extra like tart character to the beer, along with the, uh, the fact of using blood oranges, which is nice to see them change up the type of orange used. Uh, makes the beer a little more unique. So uh, really nice stuff. I'm gonna go A minus with this one. I think they. Uh, are doing a good job with this series. Uh, definitely get it, get buy it, and get it as fresh as you can. You know, get two bottles, drink them fresh. So you get that fresh orange character in the beer, which is really nice. W what I got on the draft version was as a little more prominent than it is in this bottle version. Uh, if you get a chance to try this one, it's definitely worth checking out. And this is the uh, 2013 batch number three, Saint Breda Summer from Crooked Stave. Highly recommend uh, checking out the brewery if you can get out there. Uh, especially they have all the, the, the St. Brettas on draft. They have hop variations of Hop Savant and, they, and I think Charette and uh, I forget what else, but a lot of great beers on draft there. Really cool spot that they're at these days at the source in Denver. So it's going to wrap it up. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.